go go then the boy they took you now do that do that for them take on those bitch bitch got it and got them bow to tara tara when they can't take it them up hey go 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 then the boy they took you now do that do that for them take on down bitch bitch got it and got them bow to tara tara when they can't take it hit them up Shooting for the away team, White Power, two shots. No good on that. And when you think of Howard, defense and rebounding immediately comes to mind. I mean, he knows his role and plays it pretty well. Both teams deciding to change it up. He doesn't get the second one. Philadelphia trails by five. Here's Warren. Passes to Murphy. And the rebound goes to Howard. Howard's got five rebounds tonight. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. Sixers shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. The pass to Tucker, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lamar Odom. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and really a tough break for the deep. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. And Philadelphia making a change here. Murphy's checked in. Sixty seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Count that one. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Odom, the pass to Marburg. Now Bosch. Over Alberto. Bosch can't get it to go. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Oberto. Murphy can't hit. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Beyond the arc. It's good from long range. Oh, man, I love how Odom stretches the floor. They're always ready to shoot from distance when the defense isn't focused. Pass to Murphy. Here's Oberto to the left side wing. They set the pick. To the inside, five on the clock, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. You know, that's not how you screen for your guys, but ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. And Berthy passes to Weber. It's hold in by Oberto. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. To the left wing. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. McKee, no luck. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. 
just rubbing it in their faces with that knock. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pen. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. And, and hustle like that is why he leads this team in rebounds tonight. And I tell you what, guys, nobody's been more physical in this game than he has. This he has been a glass eater. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Let's it fly from 18. Ben Berthy with the rebound. Gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Back to Odom. Launches a three. It's hold in by Oberto. Oberto's got his fourth rebound in this one. And Murphy has it in the corner. Pass to Ward. It's tipped. Tucker inside. Odom on him. Tucker can't get it to go. Gone 4-7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Odd pass to Bosch. Murphy with the steal. Now Tucker kicks it to McKee. Back to Tucker. Hits the jump hook. Tucker doing a nice job getting it done from there. gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey guys, well during the break I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. Now he kept it simple in the huddle. He said, play smart. If we don't beat ourselves, we walk away with the win. Keep it simple and we got this. Back to you guys. Okay David, much appreciated. Now here's Paul. LeBron kicks to Paul. Passes it to Weber. Shoots over Tucker. And Weber with the basket on the assist by Paul. Paul's got his eighth assist here tonight. Boy, you can't expect Paul to miss that assist opportunity. His vision is excellent. Neal. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got nine rebounds now tonight. Paul looking around. And the dunk by Duncan. Never know what Paul's going to do in these sets. I mean, he's so unpredictable and such a great floor general. I mean, he does a really good job of just picking defenses apart. Now here's Neal. Nowitzki with the screen on James. Nice shot by Posey. Gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Paul passes to Weber. Here's Marber. He kicks it to Paul. Let's it go from deep. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Bell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Nowitzki with the screen on LeBron. Posey, no luck. Gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reach the fourth quarter. Here's Paul. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Nowitzki's got four rebounds in this game. Now, here is Bell. Now the pass to Posey. Nowitzki with the screen on Duncan. Posey. No good on the three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. James outside, but three. James connects from deep. You know, really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance. I mean, especially in these sets. As to Posey, lets it go with the three. Weber pulls it in. Got the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. LeBron outside to the paint. Nowitzki with the steal. To the middle. 
Here's Posey. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Davis has checked in for the 76ers. At the line for your home team, Dan Posey. One shot. One shot. one of the few guys in NBA history to have played more than 82 games in a regular season. He actually played 83 one year after getting traded midseason. And he comes up with the deuce. Duncan's got four points now in the quarter. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Posey with it. Covered by LeBron. Davis surveying the floor, and he swishes it right through. Davis has got 38 points. And he's a shoot-first kind of player, and when Davis is on, well, he keeps after it on offense. Up again, Duncan on the follow. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Philadelphia trails by 10. Hell up on top, guarded by Kobe. Davis has the open look. Drains it from beyond the arc. Davis has got 41. On the other side of a crisp pass this time. Barron nailing the jump shot. Duncan with the screen for LeBron. And he's good on the three ball. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here is Davis. Kicks it out to Nowitzki. Pass to Post. And here is Nowitzki, defended by Paul. And that one, good. I'll tell you what, Nowitzki really, he can fill it up from anywhere. you got to admire his scoring ability, including his mid-range game. Kobe passes to Duncan. No one near James as he lets it go. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. Duncan's got five assists in the game. Davis against Paul. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got six rebounds in the game. James kicks to Paul. Duncan scanning the floor. Davis with it. Chris Paul covering. Pass to Posey. Shoots the three. Another three for Philadelphia. Nice distributing from Davis there. Excellent job reading the defense and finding the open teammate. Howard setting the pick for Paul. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And Philadelphia calls time here. Philadelphia making a change here. Thomas has checked in. Coming out to the floor for your home team, number 16, John Thomas. Here is Bell. Side Thomas and the pass to Davis. The dish to Bell. Four on the shot clock. Three pointer. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Bryant. Rebound by the 76ers. Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And they double up Davis. Tucker with the ball. He's picked up by James. A nice shot by Tucker. Well, Davis has a real skill for getting guys set up and sees openings others might.
right miss. James finds Duncan. Pass to Bryant. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And here's Bell from the arc. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got assist number eight now on the night. On 4 7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. James with it. He's against Tucker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Duncan is so good with that pump fake, in part because he's so fundamentally sound. Has no weakness in the fundamental aspects of the game. free throw is good and that increases their lead to six there's so much that's impressive about Duncan but I think the most impressive thing is how fundamentally sound he is here so now it's a seven point game it's showing off a really smooth stroke there and that will add to their lead Davis kicks it to Tucker off target with his three guys you've got to think a basket here would see it. no question that would be all she wrote Bryant it's a wide open look that three off the mark Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide-open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Pass to Thomas. Davis against Kobe. Shoots over Kobe, and Davis can't get it to go. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Bryant looking it over. So they've done it. They're going to move on. And with the four-game sweep, they steamrolled their way through round two. Now, Greg, they head to the conference finals on the highest of notes. And to that point, Kevin, I really feel like this team is playing their best basketball of the season. They're going to have some downtime before the next round, but as well as they're playing, probably wish this thing would start tomorrow. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. See you later.